Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see, we got a uh, Meshuggah, definitely. Some Gent, gent Meshuggah. Uh, we got more. Another one. And we got... Uh, Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck. Okay, yeah, we all saw this coming. Couple of dudes with eight strings gotta write a song like our great, great, great Viking warrior grand gent daddies, Mushblenda. Oh, where to start? Oh, I know. How about in 2002 when they decided seven strings just didn't quite have the girthiest shaft needed to achieve satisfaction? So they super glued yet another string on, resulting in this massive attention garnering instrument slash bludgeoning device used to record many re albums such as Nothing and others too, like. Why- what? Why not just review every album ever made ever? Gee! Maybe because I'm not super interested in listening to their experimental cracked out Pantera thrash albums of the 90s. But also, because I can only be bashed in the head by the cinder blocks that are Meshuggah's double bass kicks for about five or so albums before declining past the mental state of being able to turn a doorknob properly. You've tuned in to Tone Talk with Tony Tonson at 2 o'clock on the number one guitar tone station. WKP! Armed with a tone that can be described as an industrial metallic factory guitar tone that can only be obtained by dipping one's own guitar into an industrial grade can of paint while playing on a conveyor belt of a machine in a metallic factory that makes. Machines. You see, the thing about heavy machinery is that it keeps churning the same doling notes, uh, I mean cogs, over and over in a repetitious pattern to officially generate uniform results, some of which are often so mathematically convoluted and abstract that only a f machine could possibly uh, comprehend it all. And that, my vavr, vavr, vavlamite, vavlings, uh, people. This is what mesh of high fructose corn syrup really are. Actual songwriting machine. We get in trouble from the yoy, the yoy, the music. Filer och pitcha, klippa och time stretcha och, och göra gitarrriff. Det händer jättelite och sen händer det ingenting och så händer det lite grann och så händer det ingenting och så sen blev det ett jävla inferno på slut. Panik i blicken. Oi. Gee, I hope everyone likes the song I'm writing. Really happy with the song. It sounds good. I wonder what they're saying right now. It doesn't flow. It just, it's not. It, you have to like you it when you listen to something. And I don't it's like just it. not gonna it's happen. Not a, it's I not can, a, I can't make it. It's not gonna work. Yeah, I bet they're talking in the other room about it right now. Oh, it's, I'm so happy. I love this song. Little no fact is that Meshuggah was actually sponsored by Anheuser Busch to encourage chugging by including chugging constantly within their album and therefore mentally conditioning the public to chug. It's quite an ingenious genius plan because both the word chug is used in drinking and in guitar playing for metal bands such as Meshuggah. And this chugging leads to a really interesting scenario where if you picture only a black silhouette of Frederick playing guitar in Meshuggah and a black silhouette of a middle schooler playing Guitar Hero on a Guitar Hero controller, you'd only have a 50-50 shot at guessing who's making the monotonous clicking noises and who's the one playing Guitar Hero. As everyone and their dog has already been made aware, Meshuggah are credited for even creating the, the word gent. Like, they even walked in, they coined the term. They were like, hey, give me a me a gent thing and gent is this it's this kind of genre that ex it's like the schrodinger's genre of music that both exists and doesn't exist depending on how far the head of the person you're talking to is located up their own ass but male hookah also isn't afraid to travel to the spacier places in their music and seem happy to add space to their resume not unlike chris pratt you know when he went to space in that movie no one gave a fuck about plow jennifer lawrence I don't know what we're talking about anymore. At any rate, Splenda is God now, and how dare a plebeian like myself besmirch them in any way? But since I'm the one who's supposed to replicate their songwriting style, so you can do the same, it's fair for me to point out that like 99% of these songs will be one to three notes of nearly ungraspable rhythms being played over and over. Got a problem with it? Fuck no! No answer is back, that jizz stained Meshuggah t-shirt you're wearing. Okay, great. Let's move on to the steps then, shall we? Okay, so you're gonna do these triplets, then you're gonna do these chords. It's gonna be like two, and it's like in 5-4, I think, and then the... Okay, now you're gonna keep doing it, but do it on the 12th fret. Wow. Now just like a machine, keep playing it. Maybe some down dirtier notes, same thing. Keep repeat. Maybe put a lead on top of it, a little tappy tap. Okay, new time signature. 11-15 the first time, then 14-15 the f- 11 fifteen. Fuck! Okay, so I just wanted a new patch, but it made everything sound. It's like Tool now. Gojira, Deftones maybe. <laughs> totally.
clearly not a reference to their most popular song that everybody has already heard by now or anything. I forgot Aleppo. 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 I forgot. Writing music, creating gent songs now. Resist every urge to continue picking. Hold it. Hold it. Bro, you're gonna start picking so much that you'll have your guitar pick flying up and down faster than the panties of a whore in Game of Thrones. My fucking arm hurts so fucking bad! Hey, buddy, thanks for like watching this sh stuff that we made. Uh, we really appreciate your subs and comments. Time. You took very long and you know, but we appreciate all the YouTube things and clicks and all those dumb words that people say. Also, we just realized it's been like a year since we started making these. So down. congratulations on a year of these very quality videos. Congratulating ourselves, how we roll. Also, we want to thank everybody that bought the EP and either bought it digitally or whatever on Bandcamp or bought a copy and all that stuff. We drew farts on them. We did, we drew things on them. And, um, and then also, um, this is gonna be the last video we do that's a remake of the old ones. From from here on, we'll be doing uh, original ones. Fuck the old songs. Yes, yeah, so sorry for regurgitating stuff, but that's how it goes in We're the gonna make showbiz. super new one episode next time. Super new episode for you. Get ready. Also, we made a bunch of shitty shirts because, like, we fucked or sent them for super cheap. So, if you got a few bucks and you want a shirt that has our name and looks kind of shitty, then fucking just order one up. Mediocrity is our specialty. Oh, and thanks uh, all the Patreons and all the people supporting us in different financial ways. It allows us to keep creating this music and to buy new gear and do all the things that we need to do to keep you entertained and, and other emotions. Now let's start the song. Whoa, not coming up on the
Meshuggah are credited for even creating the the word gent. Like they even walked in, they coined the term. They're like, hey, give me a give me a gent thing. And gent is this it's this kind of genre that ex- it's like the Schrodinger's genre of music that both exists and doesn't exist depending on how far the head of the person you're talking to is located up their own ass.